Alrighty then, hold on to your gadgets. After today's tech update, we've got a call from my weekend show, The Kim Commando Show, that's just too good to skip. Over the years, I've done my best to keep hardline politics off any Kim Commando show. I've warned repeatedly that social media is no place to go for reliable news about the candidates or this election. But what happens when we turn to Google to find dependable information? I'm Kim Commando for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Accelerate your AI workload today. Take a free test drive at oracle.com slash Kim. Don't think for even a moment that big tech is not taking sides in this election. You would hope that Google, of all websites, would at least try to remain neutral. But a study conducted on September 6th, just a typical campaign day, showed that when Googling Trump's official website, it was buried under seven news stories and opinions that were against him. Yet when Googling Harris, there were only three stories above her website, and all of them positive. So then, where do you go for unbiased information? For the very first time, I can honestly say that I don't believe that there's such a place online. Sign up for my free newsletter at GetKim.com. Hey, have you heard about The Current? It's this amazing free tech newsletter that keeps you in the loop about everything. AI, making money, and insider tips to get ahead at work and life. Everything is tech now. I can't afford to fall behind, and neither can you. In just five minutes a day, that's it. The Current makes it so easy to stay ahead without feeling overwhelmed. Join half a million people at getthecurrent.com. It's free. Don't be left behind. That's getthecurrent.com. Sign up now. Getthecurrent.com. All right, just as I promised, here's a fantastic call from my show that you've got to hear. Uh, David in Austin, Texas. Hi there, David. Hello, Kim. Hey, it's an honor and privilege and pleasure to speak with you today. I appreciate it. Oh, you're so sweet. What's going on? <laughs> well, I was looking to purchase an inexpensive drone. Um, I'm actually a beginner. And my little story was I bought one some time ago, you know, a cheap one, about $100. I downloaded the viewer software to put on my telephone, mm-hmm. and that was actually mistake number one. Uh, and shortly after that, I started getting these hacking attempts on my phone, some weird messages. Uh, so it was actually to the point where I just uh, reset my phone and applied all my applications back onto it again. That's a nightmare. I it out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, oh, it was. Yes. Now I know what backup means. Um, <laughs> <You're fine. laughs> but uh, yeah, I was just at the urge to sit down again and try one out again and not crash it. I have a big backyard, so I have no problem making mistakes. But nice, it, nice. I, I I don't know what is really out there. I know I used the application before and download off a QR code, and uh, I really don't want to do that. Looking for something that's reputable. Yeah, when you start talking about drones, you know the big company, uh, the one that everybody likes, including I've got two in my house. Uh, is DJI and uh, uh-huh. DJI it's a it's a China based company you know so they are getting uh, you know copies of your location and your videos and who knows what else and that's why I always recommend that if you're going to be doing something like this that of course the the drone application is going to want to be on your phone but if you could get yourself like a just a cheapo throwaway phone then that doesn't get your data if that's what you're concerned about um, but DJI is not going to, uh, I can tell you from my experience, that it's not going to um, make your phone get hacked or crash or anything like that. Uh, now, there are USA. Are you looking for a USA-based drone? Is that it? Well, that would, I, I feel that those would be safer. Uh, in today's world, I'm not really sure. but Yeah, and you know, DJI is actually banned from military use because of the, all the Chinese tracking. I mean, it seems like everywhere we go, there's communist China apps you know, just taking over everybody here in the United States. But if you're looking for a USA-based drone, I will tell you that the technology isn't as great as maybe a DJI, and they're very expensive. Um, let me tell you just about a few of them. One's called Sky Duo. That's Sky and then D-I-O. Uh, okay. the, you know, it, it, their prices start around $900, uh, you know, 12 megapixel, 60 frames per second, flight time up to 27 minutes. You know, so it's, it's, it's pretty good. And that's got all the bells and whistles as you might expect. Um, there's also uh, another company called, uh, Teal, that's T-E-A-L, Teal Drones. 
Uh, they're also manufactured and based here in the United States. Now, the reason why a lot of people, including myself, why we go with DJI is that you can get, you know, the, the cheapest quality drone uh, is under $300. You get 31 minutes of flight, 24 miles per hour. It has a return to home feature, so it sends it right back to the base. Mm. Uh, it doesn't have obstacle avoidance, which you don't need. And it doesn't have a follow me feature, which, you know, that's okay. You don't really need that either. You know, a lot of people have that follow me because they like to have the drone take videos of them when they're hiking. So they can put it on their social media. So everybody can say, oh, wow, look, you're hiking. You're having such a great time. Um, but we actually did a whole drone review and buyer's guide over on our website um, where you can learn more about the drones that I mentioned as well as one's called uh, the Holy, Holy Stone. And it's about the same price as the DJI. But this one does follow you when you move. Uh, and it's got 26 minutes of flight time. And it has a higher pixel density. And, and for these, you're looking at around $300. Anything less than $300, that's when you're looking at a drone that you don't really want. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, you know, I, I understand. I have, being a beginner, I figured I'd try one out just to see it. But Oh, for sure. Yeah, know, you, for sure. You know, you know it's, it's hard to justify 300 bucks for something that you're like, well, I don't know if, know if I'm going to even like it. I don't know if I'm going to even have fun at this. Uh, but hit commando.com, K-O-M-A-N-D-O.com, hit the official homepage. And then there's a, a search box. Just type in review and drone. And I'm sure that buyer's guide will pop right up for you. And thank you for your kind words. And thank you for your call today, David. Hey, thanks for hitting play today. You're awesome. If you have questions, shoot them my way. Head over to commando.com and look for that email Kim link. I read every single note like it's a hot off the press tech news alert. Hey, get ahead of the tech game, too. Just sign up for my free daily newsletter. It's just a click away over at getkim.com. That's getkim.com.